Practice makes perfect. That was the idea behind artist Gwen Gutwine's project, to paint barns, mostly on location, across northeast Indiana. But her passion for Indiana's iconic homesteads took her all throughout 21 country and beyond. This barn was built in the 1860s and it was built by my ancestors. My children are the seventh generation of my family to have the opportunity to live here. Before all of our power tools and electricity and conveniences, I can't imagine building something like that just with those hand tools. Barns in different parts of the area and barns used for different things are different and I wanted to capture that. As an artist, they're her favorite subjects to paint. I think part of that may have been from my upbringing. I was raised on a farm and uh, when I was 12 our barn burnt one night and it was a great loss. She launched a project to preserve their stories in 2004 and finished it 12 years later in 2016. This one is the uh, Mendenhall family barn. She's painted them in Allen County. It takes 55 gallons of white paint every five years to, to paint the exterior of this barn. DeKalb County. There's a lot of fascinating history uh, that goes along with this barn. And Noble County. But she didn't stop there. She's expanded to two barns in every county in 21 country. And after that, the rest of Indiana's 92 counties. It was always so different. Every adventure out. <laughs> and, and they were adventures. They were amazing. I met amazing people. Uh, had really unusual experiences and saw the most gorgeous barns and they're all different. Every one of them was different. Many families who were approached by Gwen and remember she was just a stranger to them at the time welcomed her with open arms that Hoosier hospitality. And the fact that somebody would come there and feel the same way about their barn that they do, they loved it. The lifelong artist compiled a book of the project this year, Heritage Barns of Indiana. It includes all of her paintings and the stories behind each one. And the history in the barn and the family tied to that barn and that farm was just really important to me. You see that there's, there's a lot of these barns are disappearing just because of the upkeep that it takes. And it's really a labor of love to keep it going. I think she picked the perfect subject matter. I mean, if you look at what barns represent for our state and everything else, I mean, what, what an honor it is um, that it was painted um, and captured that way for everyone else to enjoy for years to come. Now that is a very big project indeed. A Gutwine hopes that highlighting the historic barns will encourage owners to invest in them and renovate them. You can find more information on Gutwine and her work on our website right now. That's WPTA21.com.